people in here are like regulars to the laundry bar. Can I see some hands? Yeah? I'm telling you, it's such a sick venue up in here, man. Wicked venue, bringing great acts in and uh, providing a good service to your community, yeah? What up, what up, it's your boy Creo, fucking repping one out. It's gonna be a dope fucking event tonight. What's up, I'm Risby, I uh, rap with Douchebag Music. Give shouts to Adam, Shootouts Productions. I'm keeping an eye for the mixtape before I get into anything else. We'll be dropping into this month. So I'm up against Risby. Can't put out a fucking dildo on his last battle, so, you know, I guess that kind of says it all. Tonight I'm battling Creo, and I'm gonna get smashed. Nah, I'm joking, I'm gonna kill that cunt. I think. So. Prepare for a fucking body cunt. Hope we have a good fucking event. Creo, I don't like you at all. And I'm gonna beat you tonight. And I'm gonna go home with your girlfriend. Yep. It's your boy Mikey Pipes. It's the PX2 tournament. One outs, what? Don't forget it, motherfuckers. We're about to get into the second battle of the night. I'd like to introduce to you on my left with a league record of two wins, zero losses out of Lithgow, New South Wales. Give it up for Rusby. Rusby, douchebag music, shitters, and all you Paralympic goofy motherfuckers. Way better than all of us. <laughs> and to my right, with a league record of one win, two losses, coming out of Geelong, Victoria. Give it up for Creon! Yeah! Yeah! Shout out to ALC, shout out to Jono, shout out to Max, shout out to my girl Steph, shout out to every motherfucker that made it tonight. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. All right, yeah. we're about to get into the fucking battle. Please hold it down and respect the MCs. Risby won the coin toss and he also chose to go first because he's also a G. Yeah. 60 yeah. second rounds, let's yeah. do this shit, son. Yeah. Finally, I'm battling a respectable artist. Yo, you better bet I'm the smartest. You'll be left as a carcass. I'll use your head as a target. Then me and my girl will take your bitch back to a hotel and see you can bend her legs back to fathers. <laughs> I saw you and thought, sweet. Time to drop some racist bars. You look Fijian, but it'd be half my luck you aren't. So I had to flip back to the gay shit because I couldn't work out what the fuck you are. <laughs> Am I taking it too far by saying that Kumar wears a dude bra for his too large orangutan looking boobs? I bet you escaped from the zoo, huh? <laughs> the first thing you saw when you came to Australia? It's Christmas Island. You were on a wooden boat smile and there were 10 dudes, 6 chicks and 20 kids crying. <laughs> I'm crying woman, so I just spit it with hate. I rip it, I'm great, nah, shit in my face. But still I got the skills to make your girl want to sit on my face. <laughs> I heard my grandparents having sex and I had more flow than you. I'm gonna play in the jumper, I'm gonna get a beard, go at the back, I've got something I want to show to you. The closest you got to being in my league was jumping on a trampoline looking over the fence. The other kids that no one liked me, they did this because their mum screamed, I know he's weird, but just get out there and pretend. You are not my friend. You're a faggot and I hate gays. <coughs> me. me and Jay Doc are the force of four men and we can bash you in eight ways. We fucking hate gays. And you see that bro, I think he's eyeballing your cock. And this cunt doesn't even rap and I bet he's still dope enough to show you what's what. Douchebags what? That's what's what. <laughs> Time, give it up for that round! Yeah. First round on Creo, let's do this shit! Fucking mention my girl and shit, yo. My fucking girl wouldn't touch you. You think my girl would touch you? You need to fucking check your mental health. My girl's got something all the girls you've ever been with never had. Respect for herself, <laughs> Your name rhymes with frisbee, and that already makes you a faggot. And your style's got no flavor, like a dodgy Migo rank pack. Your fucking voice makes me angry, cunt. Like Sarah Pover screaming when she's smashing a racket. You ain't don't trust me, faggot. I'll leave frisbee feeling dizzy like his mum after I fucked her face with a rusty rat. <laughs> And when I found out I was battling you, cunt, all I thought was, who the fuck is this no-name? You got no brain, I bet in school all you got was low grades. Those whack-ass bars of yours are a level below, mate, you in a slow lane. When it comes to bitches, cunt, you got no game. You thought getting head was sticking your dick in a tub of Rogaine. My yeah. bars admit it's the slow pain, sending Rizby spinning out of the public domain. It's funny how your ego outweighs your ability like a lot of these rappers. You're just another clone in the masses of wannabe actors. So this is how I'm gonna do it, I'ma take you apart. You aiming for the clouds, well I'm aiming for the stars. You spitting to please crowds. I'm spitting the slave bars. Your style's manufactured in China. Cunt fake is all you are. Mm. Yeah. 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 You fuck with the brain the size of a peanut. I can tell you're a cheap cunt. Only ever taking girls out as a, if it's a fucking free lunch. Hey yo, your idea of a good route is a fat, greased up, mean mug, cheap slut with a pink nose, a creased butt, the face of a zebra mixed with the teeth of a beaver, and more pimples on her body than a spot on a cheetah. Woo! Woo! Yeah. 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 Give it up for that round. 
round, second round on Brisbane. Well, he's spitting on me for, man. I should have wore a face shoot. Well, he's spitting on me for, man. I should have wore a face shoot. I could use you to water my plants if I could just get you to stay still. <laughs> you rap like the ethnic version of Muttley the Dog. I don't know where the fuck you were from, but when I find out, I'm going to blow that place up with a bomb. I hate you, but only because you can beat me at cricket. But I'll take you, man. If I don't bowl you out of heat for six, I'll just bash you with a fucking wicket. I downloaded your mixtape and took a shit on it. Literally, I was sick on it. and screamed pussy so loud, I dropped my pants and I rubbed my dick on it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I wouldn't waste my downloading a piece of shit like that. Besides, I like rap, not some whack Hindu MC that thinks he can bust fat. You are crap, like smoking the ghost of an ice pipe. Standing there with a more spaced out look in your face than Mike Pipes. I like pipes, it makes me feel good. And I fucked your missus, she had the biggest vagina I ever saw. Oh shit, she's this tall, but I swear to God she'd give beer birth to a dinosaur. <laughs> You'll find I'm raw, I'm high, that's why I grind my jaw. You're the type to fall to your knees, are like, Rizby bro, why do you want to fight me for? Because I like to brawl. <laughs> I don't like rappers, and you just make me want to bash them. And I got lines that dope that after this, me and Bazza B could probably go rack them. And when that fails, I've got nothing else to say. I'm gonna walk over to your cutie, pull my pants down, show him my dick, turn around and walk away. <laughs> <coughs> Time given up for that round. Yeah. Second round on Creo. I know. Creo, hold it down, please. Show your style, your bars, and everything about you is just fucking plain played out. Those fucking whack ass Indian bars are checking, yo. You can come at me with those Indian bars every fucking, all fucking day. All that proves is you're too prejudiced to think of something smarter to say. Check it. Yo, check it. Yo. You can't fuck with my style, Risby. No, we are not eating. You're just a B grade actor like fucking Steve Siegel. It's like my tongue's tipped with poison. Every word I speak lethal. My punchlines don't miss, bitch. It's like they fucking heat seek you. I don't think the crowd understands. I want to cry a higher plane than you. You can't step to my battle bars and on a track. I run circles around you like Usain would do. How you gonna diss me about being a faggot when you keep dildos in your pocket? For those of you who don't know, for those of you who don't know, Disney pulled out a dildo in his last battle against Prozac. If anything, calm down, stern fractured your image. I think you should know that. Yeah. You told the crowd a dildo was his. Don't lie, you stole that from your dad's room thinking, fuck yeah, I can choke that. <laughs> and I'm trying to stay away from the faggot disses because that shit's kind of played out. But how can I not call you a faggot when you got no girl and still keep a dildo in your house? <laughs> Let's face it, your mind is basic. Kind of like your mother every time she's wasted. Speaking of your mother, that bitch is so fucking loose. Her flaps clap when she walks round. She's so fucking loose, some cunt went down and her end still hasn't been found. <laughs> she's so fucking loose, you can shut up her box and hear an echo of her sound. Cause she's so fucking loose, by the time she gave birth to you, you just walked out. <laughs> But you suck, cunt. Wait up. Guess what? You fucked up. How many Indians won gold in the Olympics? None. So I don't know how anyone could think that you could win this. I'm coming straight for the two grand. I love how gay this dude stands. And I bet later on when you touch my dick, you can hold it with two hands. Wow. I see no reason why anyone would want to rap with I free. At first I thought you two might be the type to ride three cocks. If you like these lots, remember fags drop whenever they try and fight me. I'm homophobic and you're pissing me off. More than your cousin at Vodafone that's fucking ripping me off. <laughs> them dudes out of Temple of Doom. You can send to your tomb. I got raps like a suicide tack, man. They're set to go boom. If your bar's cut like a knife, I'm taking your stabs like chopper. If you're gonna do it, do it proper, because I'll get up bleeding and drop ya. The last time you had this many dudes circle you was in a Bollywood blow bang. This guy sat out of tune with himself that at home he needs a, pen a translator to understand his parents' home slang. They shouldn't have fucked with no Frank. This is a result. Shit, if some chick showed me this would happen, I'll pull my pants up and bolt. <laughs> you're a sitting duck and I've got the buckshot you need. You're as silly as fuck and I've had nearly enough, so just leave. Time. Time giving up for that round. Third and final round of Korea. You look like a tall, lanky version of Dopey from the Seven Dwarfs. And I bet you'd love to get gang banged by the Seven Dwarfs, you fucking sick fuck. Like I said before, your name rhymes with Frisbee. And for some reason, that's got me laughing. Because Frisbee is kind of like a Frisbee. The way only dog bitches chase after it. Kind of holding it down for one ounce while you holding a dick If this is Pineapple Express, I'm crushing and rolling this bitch and fucking smoking him quick You got the swag of a dildo and a naggy fucking bitch for him. Ask my mates who you were and they said he's just a fucking gimp bro 
My boss will hit you like a line of cocaine straight to your brain Like a fucking shot junkie, my product will make you insane You're more superficial than a 15 year old slut cake in her face We don't compare like I'm running in first and you don't even have a place in this race yeah. I'm just yeah. bars in a prison, I got more heart in my writings I use this art, this art to diminish the fucking dark in my system You need to understand you are nothing but target practice You want that Josh Peck steez, your life ain't nothing but whiteness I don't give a fuck yeah. where you from or what crew you reppin' Cause in here it's me against you and I don't see you steppin' Give me a tinny, I'll outgraph you Give me the mic, I'll outwrap you Give me the billy, I'll outpack you It's a fact, dude, I get more stone than a statue What I'm trying to say is What I'm trying to say is I'm more in tune to hip-hop than you will ever be We're a different pedigree, you do not compare to me Your arrogance is blinding you and offending me You will never be a true MC, you don't have the skill or the capacity You should have thought a little harder, cunt, when you thought that you could battle me Whoa. Another sick battle, second battle of the night. We're gonna get the results straight in. Before we do that, I want to thank our sponsors. Big shout out to LMG Studios helping us put this sick ass event on. Also, a big shout out, of course, to Southside Custom Inc. hooking us up with those tats and prints. And of course, can't forget Oz Hip Hop Shop. Okay, guys, hold it down. Please make a lot of noise for the winner of that battle, Creo. Yeah. Shout out to Rizby's a fucking man count. Keep an eye out for the fucking mixtape drop in the end of this month. Bam. Sick as can. You got it. What it looked like, man, is L back down out. One ounce pineapple express. Two. Uh, second battle for the night in the motherfucking whole fucking tournament and shit. Motherfuckers distracting us and shit. But, um, yeah, man. Another fucking close battle. Another dope, really fucking completely different styles going at each other. Um, probably gonna give it to Creo just based on like his style felt was a lot more like polished and put together. The other homie had like hilarious <laughs> shit, especially when he was dissing his missus, bro. I love it when motherfuckers diss someone's spouse and they like the spouse is in the audience, bro. It makes <laughs> shit so awkward and good. But unfortunately like Creo just had the flips, he had the fucking total sort of all angles covered, man. His shit was a lot cleaner, so I'm gonna have to give it to Creo this time. What up? What it looked like coming soon, suck a dick. What up, addict? I'm gonna give my decision to start. <laughs> I think Risby won it. Creo, he had harder punches, but I just think a choke and a couple stumbles probably edged it to Risby. And Risby, I've never seen him before. He had a real fucking good presence, and the bars he bought were good, man. Like, they both used a few fucking girlfriend jokes, and I find them hilarious, but I thought Risby had the more personals. And that's probably what won it for me. Uh, so I'm gonna give it to Risby in two to one. Peace. What up, David Kinch, still here. One outs, cut your face like a knife. Cha -cha. Um, I just watched Creo and Risby. It's a fucking dope battle. Both those guys are fucking different shit going at each other. Uh, I think fucking Risby, uh, fucking Risby, god damn it, I'm fucking his name up, sorry buddy. You were dope, uh, you had some wicked jokes, you had some really funny shit. Uh, talking about vaginas you can walk out of and shit. Or was that the other guy? I don't give a fuck anymore. Yeah, sorry, that was Creo. Anyway, Creo, I liked your shit. You were fucking mad passionate, and I think your passion and the way you came back from that stumble. I'm doing this. Fucking, I, fuck, I suck at this shit. <laughs> Creo won because he was more passionate. He was really good. He recovered from the stumble. It was a great battle. Both of them were cool. Goodbye. <laughs> Matty Scott, second battle for the night. Shares to Dottie. You're a mad cunt. And Ollie. He's a mad cunt too. Um, fucking, so yeah, Creo versus Risby was pretty sick, man. I fucking. Thought fucking Creo had nearly lost it on the second, but he bounced back hardcore, man, like bars. Uh, fucking Risby had some dope multis with some dope jokes. Nice little healthy mixture, but yeah, no. Fucking Creo had flips, multis, bit of personal. Fucking doubt it all happening. Uh, Creo won that easy. What up, Barry Bonza, PX2, second battle of the night. We had Creo versus Risby. Fucking hell, if the battles just keep going on like this, man, I don't want to judge shit anymore. It's fucking impossible. Um, it was a really tight battle. Uh, I'd have to give the first round to Risby. I thought his uh, girlfriend jokes, they were hitting hard. Everyone in the crowd was loving it. Um, it was the, the fresh impact. No one had seen him before. Everyone loved it. Creo, not quite as good. Second round, Creo had a small stumble. He nearly, nearly lost his shit. <laughs> nearly lost his shit, but he came back strong and he took that round for me. And the third round, even though Risby had that crack up line about fucking your cousin of Vodafone, which brought the house down. That's the biggest reaction so far. Um, I still reckon that Creo just edged that round as well. He had mad passion, like Dave said. So, 2 1 to Creo. <laughs>